The Babe, The Sultan of Swat, The Great Bambino. These are just a few nicknames of many to describe the greatest baseball player of all time, Babe Ruth. Ruth was so great he could put these type of numbers going off of hot dogs and beer, but there is a controversy surrounding the Babe that still divides fans today. The Called Shot. October 1st, 1932, Ridley Field, Chicago, Illinois. Game 3 of the 1932 World Series. After dominating games 1 and 2, the Yankees are looking to sweep the series. Roughly 50,000 fans pack into Ridley Field to cheer on their Cubs. Before the game, Babe Ruth and Lou Gehrig put on an impressive display during batting practice. Ruth hit 9 home runs into the stands while Gehrig hit 7. During batting practice, Ruth was quoted saying, I'd play for half my salary if I could bat in this dump all the time. Yes, this dump, which the Cubs still play at today. Starting for the Cubs was right-hander Charlie Root, who was the last player born in the 19th century to pitch a major league game. After an era and a walk, Babe Ruth hits a home run to deep right center field to give the Yankees a 3-0 lead. In the bottom of the first, Kiki Clyer hits a double off Yankees pitcher George Pipgross, and Billy Herman scores from first to make the game 3-1. Fast forward to the top of the fifth, where the game is tied at four after a Garrick home run, and the Cubs rallies in the bottom of the third and the fourth. There's one out when Babe Ruth steps to the plate. As Ruth steps in the box, the Cubs dugout is hassling him. The fans followed as well, hollering and throwing things at Ruth. And the Babe not only hollered back at the Cubs dugout, he hollered back at the fans as well. The first pitch is a called strike. Yes, this pitch was a called strike. Ruth showed his displeasure, and the fans in the Cubs dugout got louder. Next pitch. Ruth thinks it's outside, so he takes it. Home plate umpire Ron Van Graflin disagrees. Strike two. The hollering gets louder and louder, so Ruth steps out of the box. Then Ruth makes the gesture of a lifetime. He looks out in center field. He points straight towards the flagpole in center field. The pitch comes, and Ruth crushes it, just straight towards the flagpole. The ball is long gone, and Ruth begins to round the bases. While Ruth is surrounding the bases, you can see him firing back at Cubs players, practically taunting them. Ruth finishes surrounding the bases when Lou Gehrig gives him a high five, and then Gehrig hits a home run of his own to make it 6-4. But what about the called shot makes it so controversial? Later, Ruth did say himself that he would hit the Nets pitch past the flagpole, which he did. Well, our ability of trusting Ruth is questionable. After something as amazing as that, wouldn't any player want to take credit? And it would of course be the opposite for the opposing side. Gabby Hartnett, who was the Cubs catcher, claimed he knew what was going on. He said he wasn't pointing to center field, he was pointing to the bench. You can see in this picture, it looks like Ruth was pointing to the bench. Hartnett went on to say how he was pointing two fingers to the dugout saying that's two, referring to the two strikes he had on him. So how did this whole thing come to be? Well, it was a combination of the babe himself saying he did, the crowd's assumptions, and it made for a great story. Ruth calling his shot is debatable. Based off this picture, I would say he didn't. To be fair to Ruth, he generally did point in that direction and the ball was relatively hit that way. However, this will be one thing that for the rest of our lives will be debated. But the legend of the babe shall go on. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to like and subscribe if you guys are new. And I want to thank you guys for 1,000 subscribers, which is, you know, crazy. I've been working on the 1,000 subscriber special for a little bit, but it won't be my next video. My next video will either be another probably deep in stats or baseball news. I'm not sure yet. But for those of you who love deep in stats, don't worry. There will be probably around, I would say, 30 episodes minimum. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Heard you got a big body, but a little face, ay. Got a 41 bezel, with a honey cake, ay. If I feel a weight, then I'm gon' say it to your face, ay. If I put a block today, I'll make a honey cake, ay.